Why would anyone get a train journey for 20 hours? Well, when a flight is £200 each, a four person cabin for £40 seems way more appealing. But would we live to regret this decision? Let's find out. After an amazing but rainy time in Vietnam, we were ready for some sunshine. So we are chasing the sun to Bali. But in order to get our flight, we have to get a 20 hour train journey from Da Nang to Ho Chi Minh, ready to catch our early morning flight to Bali. Luckily, Tom's got us to train station two hours earlier and a delay made it three hours so it's safe to say that we wouldn't miss it. The train has arrived, we're coach number 11, cabin number four and it's a four berth so we're going to share with two other people. Thank you. Four. What number is that? Does it say it? Nine, ten. Oh, that must be us then. Nine, ten. So we've found our cabin. It's less than ideal. So we've got the bottom bunks. This is my side, Lauren's side. And then we're going to have some friends up here. <laughs> 20 hours. So it's really going to make or break our journey depending on who we get. Yeah. Because if they're just like a nightmare, it's going to be a nightmare. So Lauren's calmed down a little bit. It's safe to say she was a little bit less than impressed, but we're all good. We're watching our series. We've got our colouring out. Yeah. And hopefully we have a nice round. This train has a mixture of carriages, ranging from seats, six berth cabins, private cabins, or the four berth cabin, the one we opted for. There was a pretty basic toilet, but there was also hot water on tap where you could fill up pot noodles from. And after we had dinner on the carriage, we wish we'd have done that. So we're almost three hours in. I'm feeling a little more positive. No one's joined us in the top bunks just yet, which is good. Although we'll, we're going to be approaching our trang at like 12, which is really, really popular. So there are food options on board. Nothing very appetising. Uh, no, so... Eggplant soup and stuff. And like a boiled egg. So I mean, I guess, yeah, we have boiled eggs at home, so we could just have like four each. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see how things go. Hello. What is it? Rice. Rice? Rice chicken. Chicken. Hey, how much is it? How much? Basically, there were only rice, so I don't know where chicken is. Soup. <laughs> Hopefully, there'll be a carvery option, like a Toby C, that will just make its way down the corridor soon. There's a yogurt lady coming down. Ew. What are you doing? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Dinner has been served. Oh dear, I think we might just have the rice. <laughs> this is the saltiest rice I've ever had in my life. I ain't even had any of mine yet. I thought that the uh, chicken skin was pasta. It's, all... it's not chicken skin, look at that. It's literally got like bones in it. Oh, look at that. Like, is, is, that, is that a foot? Are they toenails or are they bones? They feel like layout. teeth. There's some. That's what Tom ate. That's what I ate. That's what he thought was. I thought it was a bit of like pasta. pasta. That is actually a good bit. <laughs> I say that. I won't be eating it. No. 
and like this i think this is the knee like that surely that's the ankle and then that is just a load of skin again and i mean what like don't even get me started on that what's that what, what, <laughs> what, what actually is that look at it it's just a bit of skin in it is it a tendon <laughs> So we've managed to get rid of our food. Thank I've goodness. ordered a couple of drinks. I've ordered a water and I've, I've had to give in. I know, I couldn't believe it when it came with a beer. I'm thinking... Who's that for? Mm. But, yeah. Oh, sorry, you've got the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we feel better now the food's out of our way because it's awkward when you give them like a full, a full plate. plate. Well, two full plates. So anyway... We didn't touch anything. Well, I had rice, a bit of it. All the rice? No. Did you eat up? Well, no pudding. We feel better. Yeah. We're now four hours into our journey. So, and to be honest, it's gone quite quick so far. Yeah, as I think just because you know you're in here for like the yeah, next 20 hours, you true. kind of don't even think about time. No, you don't. You just chill, don't you? You just potter about. So, we're closing the night in. That's why the quality is pretty bad. What we'll watch. Ah, oh, that's made all difference. We've been on here for eight hours now and we're, we're going strong. Yeah, no falling out, not a problem. It's been alright, and we're, we're still on our own. When I was crying, yeah, over at there. The start. Put a bit of a dampener on it. We're still on our own, but we're probably going to go to sleep, and then two random strangers are going to come in and just start messing about trying it's to climb so up. It's so intense because, like, we're all asleep in the same room together. It's all dark. It's too intimate. On the sleeper buses, it's like how Everyone, many thirty like, yeah. or something. Whereas on here. It's just you four. That. That's probably it for now unless anything happens. So yeah. hopefully we'll see you in the morning. Scan the QR code posted in the compartment for wagon lengths, locations with QR codes for seat compartments and access the link displayed when scanning. Morning everybody. We've awoken. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. We're gonna be there in about 25 minutes. Had such an amazing night sleep. <laughs> Bear in mind I was the one when we first got onto this train and I've slept like a lot throughout the night. Literally slept better than she has done the past few nights. I've barely had an hour. I don't know what's gone on with me. I couldn't relax so I'm going to be absolutely knackered today. About 15 minutes away. It's been alright though. It's better than buses, 100%. Yeah. I think, I think we might be here. <laughs> Go Kishi, go Kishi, go Where are you coming? I'm coming. Come on then. So we've arrived. I think you pretty much just walk across the train track now. I think so. I'm just gonna get a grab ASAP and get some food. Because all we had for tea was a bag of crisps. Reckon these are all taxi drivers. You're okay, thank you. So usually when you get off a plane or a train or something, there's like the proper hound you, but they were pretty Yeah, there was a few people. But they were pretty chill, many. weren't they? Yeah. Which were nice. But we've got a grab anyway. Yeah, grab's on its way, hopefully. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. some breakfast since we only had crisps for lunch last night. It's green! It's flashing. Here we go. It's red. So we're going to the Melbourne Cafe. Let's see what it's like. Where are we going? Cafe? Yeah, just coffee. Never please this Oh, one. that looks good. That hit a spot that's the best English breakfast I've had. Turn the camera around. It didn't hit a spot for me. English muffin. More like English muffin. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. 
know. But yeah, we're going to the hotel now. Tom, stop staying in the limelight. Yeah, we're going to the hotel now. <laughs> Hello. You go to Bin Bin Hotel. Yeah, I'll, I'll have that one. Our hotel. Thank you. Okay. So we've now dropped our bags off. We're just navigating the city for the first time. We spotted a nice coffee shop, didn't we, Lauren? And so, guess what? what? My wisdom tooth is coming through. Always something with right. it. So. This is the one, hopefully. I'm going to get my hair cut in Ho Chi Minh so let's see how it goes hopefully there's room for me hello hello could you do hair and beard thank you <laughs> this one thank you yeah thank you so can i have it short everywhere yep. do you want to do google channel yeah um, how you drink the ring and what wig there you go so well, even, right. a bit like either of them. Right, Just, right. Okay, so. <laughs> so, old beard off, short, everywhere. Uh, right. yeah. Yes, everywhere. And then bit, bit off top. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. So we've just got out the hairdressers with one very handsome young job. man. He's doing a very good job. <gasps> Who's this? I feel like a new man. It was funny because at the end he had like loads of hair around his neck. And the guy looks at me and he goes, shall I, um, I was like, yeah. <laughs> and did you see him when he left the door? I know, I thought, shave that off. <laughs> anyway, we're good. Thank you so much for watching this video. Join us next time as we explore Bali, but not before making one huge mistake at the airport. Next, we'll show you how much it costs to visit Bali whilst exploring the monkey forest to see if it is really full of monkeys.